going on, y'all? It's your boy Boogie Oogie in the Boogie Mobile. Y'all hear that? Ah, let me stop playing. I'm on a back road right now, so it's safe for me to do that. You feel me? But look, I just wanted to talk about something real quick. Now, I me, mean, um, real quick, if you're a new viewer, go and hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on my post notifications, all that good stuff, all right? But I want to talk about something. And I feel like I need to get this off my chest, you know. I need to get it off, you know. Um, not that kind of get it off with your dirty mind. You got dirty mind, all right? You dirty, dirty over there. That, that's that's problem number one. That's the first topic. You dirty, dirty, all right? Dirty, dirty is what they call me. Anyways, um, but yeah, make sure you got my post notifications. Y'all say y'all like my talking videos where I just get my perspective on this crazy generation um, and just how I see things or whatever. I feel like I'm just talking to y'all, so I mean it's pretty cool. Um, but I want to talk about how this 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 generation is just like we ask for things, but don't pursue those things in the right way. Like we like we like we we pay attention to things that I'm trying to see how I want to say this. We pay attention to things that we don't want. You feel me? I put it in I put it in this way. Hold up, my bad, y'all. I'm, I'm multitasking, I mean, Boogie gotta be safe before anything. So look, it's my thing. If you want somebody that's not gonna abuse you and take you for money or whatever, or just take you for granted for money, right? Why are you trying to find somebody that is so materialistic? And this this might be, you know, this might be, this part might be for the ladies or whatever, or nah, this might be for men. Cause a lot of dudes, I gotta say, a lot of y'all know I me, mean? y'all see, these girls on IG, you know what I mean, and really be gassed up by like the, the bag, you know, the, 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 the expensive stuff they be having or whatever, and just that lifestyle and they be looking. But you gotta think about what kind of what kind of stuff gonna come with that. You feel me? And if you get her, best believe she's gonna expect you to you not know I mean help her maintain that. So when you get that girl that that looks like she likes expensive stuff, granted, I mean women like expensive stuff. You know, um, but pay attention to where you're finding these people. Now, I mean, pay attention to where you're, you're looking for your soulmate. You know, like we, we, everybody's looking for somebody, but where are you looking? Like, don't, don't be looking at the bar because you got somebody's number while you was drunk. That's not a, like, you feel me? Like, is that the person you're going to want to be with for real? Like, granted, ain't nothing wrong with going to the bar, but at the same time, I'm not meeting my lady at no bar. I might meet her at the gym. You know what I mean, because obviously you're on your grind, you working towards your purpose to better yourself. I'm working on my purpose to better myself. You now I mean, same thing for the ladies. You feel me? You don't want to meet your man at the club. You now I mean, we got to be more intentional on what we're looking for and where that person would be. And are you that person that that person would want to be with? Don't just want somebody that got all these accolades and all this and all that, but you ain't like, are you that type of person that that person would want to be with? Ask yourself that. Like, that's another thing. We got to stop being honest with ourselves. I see all these people posting, oh, y'all want a man like this. I want a girl like that. And I'm like, yo, what are you, what are you doing for yourself that's going to attract that person? You look good? It's mad good looking people. Now, I mean, it's mad good looking people out there. We got to be more intentional people. You feel me? Like, you, I, I guarantee this on your purpose when you're working on your purpose when you're working towards you bettering yourself that person will come along and you won't be so clingy to them you know what i mean so they'll be attracted to the person that is feeding themselves so you being i know i'm saying a lot you being that person that feeds feeds yourself and takes care of yourself that person will be attracted to that person you know what i mean They'll be attracted to, to you loving you. We got to stop trying to find love in the wrong places at the wrong time, forcing it. It's like, yo, if it's not there, don't try to make it there. Like, you know what I mean? Don't try to create something out of nothing. Like, I don't know, y'all. I just I look at this generation in, in so many different ways because I read the posts and what people post. And I'm like, but that type of dude would not like his girl doing that kind of stuff. I mean, or that type of girl would not like a dude that does the type of things you do. You feel me? Like, can we stop being real with ourselves? Or we just gonna live in fairy tale land, you know what I mean, and hope we stumble upon somebody that's real good at the bar. 
Is that is that what we you know what I mean? Like is that is that what we thinking? Everybody like, oh, I don't want no materialistic, you know this, materialistic that. I don't I just want somebody that's that's real, that's intentional. Okay, but you posting all these famous people that is like the only difference between them and you is one, they took a picture with their person. Two, they got more money than you. Stop looking at other people's situations thinking that that's how it's supposed to be. You feel me? Like, we, we, we looking at these other people's situations like, well, yeah, I want that. How do you know what it looks like at home? Tell me that. I'm, I'm curious. How do you know what it looks like for them? They probably just got into a whole fight right before they took that picture of that good moment. And we out here like, oh, my God, goals. What the hell is the goal? The goal is to take this picture? I'm confused. I don't know, y'all. I might be, you know what I mean, a weirdo. I might be somebody that's crazy, whatever. But I just look at a lot of stuff in this generation and just be like, why are we, like, and you know what's so crazy? Let's take the Quavo and the Sweetie uh, situation, right? Everybody gassed that situation. Everybody loved how they take pictures. Because y'all know nothing about them at home. Everybody loved it. Now they break up. And now y'all back to square one. Oh, that's not goals no more? Nah, they goals. Y'all said it was goals. I mean, they, they, they were goals, right? What's the goal? To take a picture? Y'all don't know what goes on in these people's lives. So stop comparing yourself to them, yo. Live your life. Be intentional in what you like. Stop trying to impress your friends with the person that you like. When your friends ain't, in, it ain't even in a situation that you want to be in. That's crazy to me, yo. Like, we be out here trying to... We asking somebody for advice that's not even in a happy relationship. But we want to be in a relationship. That's like asking somebody, how do you play basketball when they're a professional golf player? What, what, what do you do? And then listening to them on how to do a crossover, how to shoot a free throw. Yo, this generation is backwards as hell. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then it's like, it, people love you and then they hate you. Because it's like, y'all loved them while they were taking pictures. Y'all loved them while it was like, oh my God, like look at them with their costumes. It's so cute. I love her. Oh my God, he's perfect for... So it comes out that, okay, they had infidelity going on. Oh, girl, you deserve better. Yo, y'all are so confused. Listen, focus on yourself. Because you don't even know what she did. Honestly. Honestly and truly, he never even came out and said that he... I'm not, and I'm not... I mean, choose the sides. But he never came out and said that he actually did something. And if he did, she stayed. I mean, she stayed with him. And now when you look crazy on the internet and make him look crazy, now it's, oh, um, I'm not fit to put up with this. He been cheating. Oh, he been, he, he been bugging. Oh, I'm bugging, but he been bugging too. Like, that's corny, yo. That's mad corny. And everybody's like, yeah, girl, love yourself. I'm like, y'all are so lost. Y'all don't know what side y'all want to be on. Do you know what side you want to be on? It's like whatever she says, you're with it. How do you even know if this dude really cheated on her? That's my question. You know how many people... You know that's that's what a narcissist does. A narcissist... When a narcissist is wrong, they say, okay, but remember when you did this? Okay, so why didn't you address it? Or why didn't you leave when that person did that? That's a, that's a narcissistic way of thinking and all these people are backing her up on it that's ridiculous granted what goes on in your relationship because i'm not about to sit here and say that i've never dealt with somebody doing me wrong and then i continue with them because i love them that much that's what that's what probably happened with them like that's probably what happened with them and now we out here like nah you should have not I mean yeah leave him why? Because she said something crazy and now he's ready to leave? That's mad weird to me. Like, there's, there's, there's just so many people in the comments backing this girl and I get it. But at the same time, I'm like, nah, y'all are just saying anything. Y'all are just with whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, love yourself, queen. Anytime we can come up with a three, three letter phrase or whatever, everybody's just, just on the bandwagon. It's so corny. It's monkey see, monkey do. I get it, but I'm like, how do y'all even know she's she's being honest? How do y'all know that? And if she is being honest, why she ain't been leave? Why is she waiting until he 
it's like now nah, I'm out of here or now nah, I'm not messing with this or whatever. For you feel me? Like it's just a whole lot of backwards stuff. In other words, I'm saying all that to say, y'all, uh, please, 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 please. Love your situation, alright? Like the things that you like, not the stuff you see on social media, not the stuff you see your friends reposting. Stop trying to be in a relationship just because you want to take cute pictures. You know what I mean? You don't want somebody that's 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 materialistic. You don't want somebody that's all they care about is how you look or or or, or all they have is, is good looks. Stop focusing so hard on good looks. Can we talk about it? I mean, like, like, do they have to look like Michael B. Jordan? You feel me? Do they have to look like Top Boogie? Like, I'm not gassing it, but nah, I'm just playing with y'all. But like, you feel me? Like. We gotta be more intentional Like on the things that we actually want Why are you driving You driving real fast behind me homie Like He's driving real quick behind me right now Yeah alright Slow down But anyways um, But yeah man We gotta be more intentional yo We gotta stop focusing on the same things You've been focusing on for years We've been focusing on looks And, and how it's gonna look And what this person's gonna think If you're with this person Yo, forget all that. Forget that. Forget it. Forget what somebody else says. Forget it. You want to know why? Because they are not the one that's marrying you. You feel me? They're not the person that's going to sleep with you at the end of the night. You feel me? They are not in a perfect situation. They're damn self. Like, how many of us have tried to impress somebody that ain't got what we want? Kind of backwards. I'm sorry, y'all. I get a little passionate or whatever. I might get a little passionate. <laughs> it's my day off, you feel me? So I chose, um, nah, man. What, what somebody said in the comments in my last video, I don't even remember. But I chose to speak facts, you feel me? I'm sorry. It's a, it's, it's a lot of backwards and, and false narratives out there and, and monkey see, monkey do going on. And if you want to be different, you need to you need to understand that the mass, I know we grow up. We grew up thinking that, okay, if everybody's doing it, then it must be right. If, if, okay, if 10 people's going this way, then, okay, maybe I should go this way. And there's only two people going that way. Maybe I should go this way. Where the, where the 10 is going. Where everybody else is going. What everybody else is thinking. I should think like that. Well, I hate to say this, but in our generation, it's a lot of monkey see, monkey do. You know what I mean? It's a lot of monkey. So if the first person in that 10 was wrong, the, the nine behind them is going to be wrong right behind them. Why? Because they were just like, well, you know, it must be right. If everybody else over here is over here, no, people. Have your own mind, you know. Do your do your research. Be intentional in the things that you like, you feel me, and go get those. Go get that, you feel me. Stop, stop doing what everybody else is doing. Because I tell you right now, it's a lost-ass generation. I'm sorry, you know. Somebody going to be a little bothered by this, but it's the truth. This generation is really lost. They don't know who they want to follow. Actually, they just following everybody. You feel know I me? Mean? Everybody got an opinion, so they like, mm, since I can't think for myself, let me go with that person. Oh yeah, I like the way they think. No facts behind them, but I like the way. Like, come on, son. Like, it's so much backwards stuff going on. But yo, I had to make this little video. Nah, I mean, it was heavy on my heart. If y'all want me to talk to y'all like this more often, y'all want me to talk to y'all crazy, I will. I will. I don't mind. I'm from New York. I'm, I'm honest. Like, I just, I, I, I don't like, I don't like a, a false narrative, y'all. I don't like, like, people being misled and people being blind, lead, leading the blind, the blind leading the blind. Like, it's, it's just a lot of it going on and I can't help to say something. I'm sorry, y'all. Just think for yourself. Love what you love. Like what you like, not because somebody else is going to like it when you have it. No, that's so crazy. And then the things that you want in life, think about it. Are you putting yourself in a position to get that? Or are you just wanting it? Are you just out here just wanting it? Like, like whatever that may be in your life. Do you just want a good person? Do you just want a better job? Do you just want to be slim or have a nice body? Or are you trying to get it? Are you working towards it? Are you putting yourself in a place to go get it? Are you? Huh? I, yo, this whole video is about moving intentionally, yo. Moving intentionally and making decisions on your own. That's what this video is about. And I'll probably title this, This Generation is Lost. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie. Love, peace, and happiness. Now, I mean, pray if you ain't pray today. But, hey, real quick. I meant to say this in the beginning. Um, 
but my my uh my Patreon link is in the description below. Now I mean, um, make sure y'all subscribe to see my exclusive content. Whole lot of exclusive stuff going on over there. And we having, I mean, we having real talks. You feel me? So again, comment below what y'all think. What, what you think about this about this generation? Be real. What you think? There's a lot of people thinking for themselves. A lot of monkey shoot, monkey shoot, monkey. Uh, I said monkey shoot, monkey shoot. There's a lot of monkey see, monkey do going on out there too. Know what I mean? Alright y'all, I'm out of here. I'm just rambling now.